Welcome to the ADF Insider Essential Series, which demonstrates the essential skills, tips, tricks, and techniques that you require for building ADF applications. In this demonstration, you'll see how to implement a total that is calculated by using a groovy expression. My name is Dee Dee Morton, and I'm part of the Oracle Development Tools Curriculum Development Team. In this example, we're building a page that allows users to navigate through departments to view the details of the employees in each department. The page includes a field called Total Salary that shows the total salary of all employees in the department. We'll set up the page so that the value of total salary refreshes automatically when the value of a salary changes. In this example, there is a master detail relationship between the two view objects, Department's View and Employee's View. Employee's View contains an attribute called Salary. We add an attribute called Total Salary to Department's View. The value of total salary will be calculated based on the value of the salary attribute in employee's view. In this demonstration, you learn how to use Groovy to calculate the total. Groovy is a scripting language that uses a simple Java-like syntax for manipulating Java objects. To implement a total, you add a new transient attribute to the view object. Transient attributes are often used to provide subtotals or other calculated values that are not stored in the database. For the attribute's default value, you specify a Groovy expression. We'll go over the expression in detail during the demonstration that follows. After specifying the transient attribute, you bind the attribute to a field on the page. In this case, we add a field called Total Salary. In this demonstration, you learn how to use Groovy to calculate the total. However, Another approach would be to create an attribute that calls the SQL sum function to calculate the value. Using Groovy is convenient, though, because it allows you to calculate the value of an attribute without reissuing the SQL query for the view object. Now let's look at a demonstration that shows how to implement a total in Groovy. First, let's add a transient attribute to the view object called Department's View to show the total of all salaries in the selected department. Remember that this value is stored temporarily. It's not persisted to the database. In the Application Navigator under Model, double-click Department's View to edit it. Click the Attributes Finger tab. Under Attributes, click the green plus icon to add a new attribute called Total Salary. Select a Big Decimal as the type. Select Expression. And, in the Expression field, type a Groovy expression that calls the SUM function to calculate the salary total. The expression in the example calls a built-in Groovy SUM function on the row set to calculate the sum of all salary values in the selected department. The expression uses the employee's view accessor to indicate which object to access to perform the operation. For this example, the view accessor is already defined in the view link, amp depth fk link. This view link was created automatically based on a foreign key relationship defined in the database. Let's take a quick look at the view link. In the application navigator, double click the link to open it in the editor and click the Relationship Finger tab. Under Accessors, notice the accessor named Employees. Now let's close the editor and go back to the Total Salary attribute. In the Attribute Editor, click the pencil icon to edit the expression. Notice that the expression checks for Null, so we won't get Null pointer exceptions when we run the application. Test the syntax. It looks good. Click OK and then click OK again. We'll also change the UI label for the total salary attribute now to save time later when we build the page. Click the UI Hints tab and specify a value for the label. If we want, we can override this value later when we build the page. Next, we'll test the view object to verify that the new total salary field displays the expected value. In the Application Navigator, under the Model Project, Right-click the Application Module and click Run.
in the ADF model tester, double click the foreign key link EMP DEPT FK Link 1 so you can see the master detail records. Navigate through departments and scroll over to verify that the total salary field contains the expected value. Close the model tester. Now let's bind the total salary attribute to a read-only output field on the page. Let's open the JSF file for the page. Expand the data controls for the application module and then expand departments one. Select the total salary attribute and drag it to the departments form as the last field in the form. Select text, ADF output text with label. If you have trouble placing the item on the page, remember that you can use the structure view. Now let's run the page to see the changes. Right click the page and click run. Notice that when you run the application to test it, your changes are saved automatically. Now let's look at the page. In the departments pane of the page, let's navigate to a department that has several employees. Notice that the value of total salary is equal to the sum of all salaries in the department. Now that the department's pane displays the total salary of the selected department, let's go a step further to make sure that the value of total salary is refreshed whenever the value in a salary field changes. You can refresh the value of calculated attributes very easily in ADF by using partial page rendering, also known as PPR. PPR enables ADF Faces components to re-render areas of the page without re-rendering the entire page. On the field or control that triggers a refresh, in this case, salary, set the auto submit property to true and specify a meaningful ID. Then, in the partial triggers property of the calculated attribute, in this case, total salary, select the ID of the attribute that will trigger the calculation. Select EMPSAL. Now, Let's see how to set up the page so that the value of total salary gets updated whenever the value of salary changes. This is very easy to do. First, on the JSF page in JDeveloper, select the Salary Input Text field in the Employees area of the page. In the Property Inspector under Behavior, set Auto Submit to True. Change the ID of the component to something meaningful, let's say EMPSAL. In the Departments form, select the Total Salary field. Let's set the field to listen for changes to salary. In the Property Inspector under Behavior, click the small down arrow next to Partial Triggers and browse to select the ID EMPSAL. Now let's see how the page works. Right-click the JSF page and select Run. After the page loads, navigate to a department that has several employees. Next, let's change the salary for an employee. Tab out of the field. Notice that the value of total salary updates to reflect the change. In this demonstration, you've learned how to create a transient attribute that uses Groovy to calculate a total. Remember that transient attributes are useful for providing calculated values and are not stored in the database. To refresh the value of a calculated attribute, you can use partial page rendering, also known as PPR, to specify the triggering component and the target component. For more information, including downloads, tutorials, discussions, and more, you can go to the Oracle Technology Network. Thank you for listening.